I'm John Hazlett. I'm a retired major from the Air Force. I was uh, on active duty for seven years and then reserved for 13. But while I was on active duty, the most intriguing project I was involved with was tag board, which became Senior Bowl. I was a navigator on one of the two B-52H models that carried the D-21 drone. Uh, the drone was designed for reconnaissance work. Uh, after Gary Powers was shot down, we didn't want to send anybody else over if possible. So the drone was uh, created and developed by the Skunk Words Works, Lockheed, the same people that built and uh, had the A-12 and the uh, SR-71. Initially, the uh, D-21 drone was mounted on the back of an A-12, and it was uh, launched from there at Mach 3. You had to get up to Mach 3 to get the engine started in the drone. Um, but there was an accident. They, they stopped using the SR-71, and the, uh, they switched over to using the B-52s. We carried two of these, one under each wing. Um, most of the flights were functional check flights to check the, uh, all of the systems on the drones, but I was involved in one launch flight, a test flight, which was, was quite exciting because once we dropped this, there was a rocket booster on the bottom of the drone that ignited, uh, took the drone up to Mach 3, the rocket booster would drop away and the drone would go on its, on its course, pre-programmed course. After the uh, flight was finished, the drone would come back into friendly territory. It would eject a hatch, which contained a very high definition camera. And for back in the 60s, that was saying a lot. Uh, the, the hatch would have a parachute on it that would be picked up midair by a C-130 uh, and brought back into the C-130. The cameras would be downloaded and the film taken to uh, an Air Force base and analyzed. For the drone itself, after the hatch was dropped, it would self-destruct over the water someplace. So we, uh, there were many test flights. I think there were 13 test flights. I think there were four, opera four or five operational flights that took place. None of them ever yielded anything of value. For one reason or another, um, the flights did not uh, come off as, as, as planned. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the drone itself would go off course and crash. Uh, one time I think it crashed in Russia. Um, another time the, uh, everything was successful up to the point where the Navy was supposed to pick up the drone or the camera and the camera was dropped in the water uh, and the Navy ran over it. So that was lost. So the program was ended in, I believe, May of 1971. Uh, but it was a very, very sophisticated system, uh, well ahead of its time, and I'm sure a lot of the technology that was developed at that time um, led to what's being used today.